Questions 11 through 20 on the 2020 Grade 10 Cayley Math Contest. The sum of the first nine positive integers is 45. In other words, 1 plus 2 and so on until 9 is 45. What is the sum of the first nine positive multiples of 5? In other words, what is the value of 5 plus 10 plus 15 until 40 and 45? 5 plus 10 plus 15 plus dot 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 40 plus 45. Well, just factor out the 5. And if you do, you'll get 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 until 8 plus 9, which is exactly right here. And therefore, this guy is 45. So they helped you out a little bit. And therefore, now I just have to do 5 times 45, which is 225. So at number 11, the answer is A. The volume of a rectangular prism is 21. Its length, width, and height are all different positive integers. The sum of its length, width, and height is. All right, well, the volume is 21, and that's length times width times height. 21 can be broken up into 3 times 7. Okay, well, it would be nice if there was three numbers. There's only two here, two prime factors. Well, that's not a big problem. I can just stick a 1. And there we go. I've got three numbers, and they're all different, and they're all positive integers. So this is whatever order you want to put this in, width, uh, length, height, doesn't really matter. They just want the sum. So the sum of L plus W plus H will be 1 plus 3 plus 7, and that is 11. So number 12, the answer is A. If 2 to the power of n is equal to 8 to the power of 20, what is n? 8 is 2 to the power of 3. And therefore, using the standard rules for exponents, you would multiply, and that would be 2 to the power of 60 is 2 to the power of n. The bases are the same, so that means the exponents are the same. n is 60. Number 13, that's b. Juliana chooses three different numbers from the set and multiplies them together to obtain integer n. What is the greatest possible value? Well, the obvious would be to choose the three biggest numbers, 3 times 5 times 7. And when you do, you get 105. And 105 is one of the answer choices. But please wait. Take five seconds to look at the set again. And you'll notice that I can get three numbers that will give me a larger. How is that possible? Well, you can choose these guys. Because if you, two cho if you choose two negative, they will cancel each other and become a p positive. So if I choose num uh, negative 6, negative 4, and 7, it will still give me a positive number because this negative cancels with that negative. So 6 times 4 times 7 is 168. And that is the largest so number 14, the answer is A. A bag contains only yellow, green, and red. The ratio of green, yellow, to red is 3, 4 to 2. If 63 of the marbles in the bag are not red, the number of red marbles is. Green, yellow, red. Ratio is 3, 4, and 2. So I'll just put 3x, 4x, and 2x for some x, right? And they're saying 63 of the marbles are not red. So these guys is 63. Okay, so that basically means that 3x plus 4x is equal to 63. 7x is 63, and therefore x is 9. So that means 2x is 2 times 9, and that is 18. 18 red marbles in the bag, number 15. That is B. In the diagram, the circle has center O and square O, P, Q, R has vertex Q on the circle. If the area of the circle is 72 pi, the area of the square is. Let's draw one line from the center to Q. And I think that should be sufficient. And off we go. And I'll call that R for radius because it is the radius. The area of the circle is pi R squared, and they told me that's 72 pi. So that means R squared is equal to 72. Okay. I'll call S the side of the square. So using Pythagoras, S squared plus S squared is equal to R squared. That means 2S squared is R squared. S squared is 
r squared divided by 2. r squared we just calculated as 72. So s squared is equal to 72 divided by 2, which is 36. The area of the square is s squared. So there we go. We just got it. Number 16, the answer is E. Carly made treat bags. Each bag contained exactly one chocolate, one mint, and one caramel. The chocolates came in boxes of 50. The mints came in boxes of 40. The caramels came in boxes of 25. Carly made no incomplete treat bags, and there were no unused chocolates, mints, or caramels. What is the minimum total number of boxes that Carly could have bought? This question involves getting the least common multiple of 50, 40, and 25. And for least common multiple, you think max. And let me explain what I mean by that. First, you have to break them up into its prime factors. Pretty quick, we, quickly, we can do that. 50 is 2 times 5 squared. 40 is 2 to the power of 3 times 5 to the power of 1. And 25 is just 5 to the power of 2. Now we think max. Take each uh, prime number, and then we have to put the maximum exponent. Well, the maximum exponent, 1, 3, and here there's nothing. So of those that I circle, the max is 3. So there you go. Then you take the next prime factor, which is 5, and take the max. Our exponents are 2, 1, and 2. I have to take the max, and that's 2. So there we go. That's the LCM, and that is 200. So that means 200 is very important because it allows us to figure out how many boxes for each of them. For the chocolates, they come in boxes of 50. So I have to take 200 and divide by 50, and that gives me 4 boxes. For the mints, they come in 40, so I have to take the 200 and then divide by 40. That gives me 5 boxes. For the caramels, they come in boxes of 25, so I have to take the 200 and divide by 25, and that gives me 8. And then now, these are the number of boxes. Add them all up. 4 plus 5 plus 8 is 17 boxes in total. Number 17, the answer is 17, and that's choice B. Nate is driving to see his grandmother. If he drives at a constant speed of 40 kilometers an hour, he will arrive one hour late. If he drives at a constant speed of 60 kilometers an hour, he will arrive one hour early. What constant speed should he drive to arrive just in time? Speed is equal to distance over time. The first sentence basically tells me that when he's driving 40, he will arrive one hour late. So too much time, t plus 1. When he's driving 60, he is driving faster, so his time is less by one hour, t minus 1. Okay, so basically I have to figure out this, d over t. That means I have to figure out t and then d. Cross multiply and you get 40t plus 40 is equal to d. Cross multiply here, you get 60t minus 60 is equal to d. Set them equal to each other and get 40t plus 40 is equal to 60t minus 60. So that means 100 is equal to 20t. t, therefore, is equal to 5. Now I can substitute that back into either one of these to get d. Uh, let's see, if t is 5, that's going to be 40 times 5, which is 200 plus 40, 240. So S is 240 over 5, and that is 48. Number 18, that is D. A multiple choice test has 10 questions. Each question answered correctly is worth 5. Unanswered is worth 1. Incorrect, 0. How many of the integers between 30 and 50 inclusive are not possible total scores? All right, so we may be able to get this in a very logical way by making a table. So off we go. This is the score. This is the number of correct, unanswered, and incorrect. Okay, and the scores are from 50 all the way down to 30. Okay, now the multiples of 5 are definitely going to be possible, right? Because I'll just illustrate it. 10 correct, you get 50 points. 10 
times 5. Uh, 9 correct uh, would give you 45. And then similarly, 8 correct, 7 correct, and 6 correct. So those are pretty straightforward. And then all the other ones, you get 0. So that means you got all the other ones, if there are any other ones, incorrect. So here is 0, but here is 1 incorrect, 2, 3, and 4. So those ones are possible. Now we can, in a very logical way, go up. So for example, this is still 6, but if I get one unanswered, I pick up a point. Each unanswered question is worth a point. So that would bring me up to 31, right? 30 for the 6 correct, and then one point for that one answered. And similarly, I can do 6 and 2, 6 and 3, 6 and 4. Now, let's talk about 7. That was 7 and 0, but if I put 7 and 1, I can make a score of 36. 7 and 2, and 7 and 3. I cannot do 7 and 4 because there's only 10 questions. 7 and 4 would imply that there's 11 questions. So at this point, I can't do anything, so this is not possible as a score. Okay, 8 and 0, same story. 8 and 1, 8 and 2, 8 and 3, not possible because there's only 10 questions. So these two I won't be able to do. I won't be able to obtain as a score. And then finally, 9. This was 9 and 0. 9 and 1 is possible. But now I run into the same problem that I can't have those guys. So this one, this one, and this one are not possible. So how many did I circle? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 scores are not possible. Number 19, the answer is D. For how many pairs MN with MN integers satisfying M less than uh, 100 and greater than 1 inclusive and N is between 101 and 205 inclusive is 3 to the power of M plus 7 to the power of N divisible by 10. All right. 3 to the power of M plus 7 to the power of N is divisible by 10. Well, how do we approach this? We have to look at the unit's digit, the last digit, or the one's digit whatever you want to call it. So the first thing I'd like to do is illustrate that there's a pattern and that pattern definitely helps us. So if I write down the units digit for the first few powers of three, you'll see a pattern. I'm just writing the units digit, the last digit. Three, nine, seven, one. Three, nine, seven, one. And as you can see, it just keeps on going like that. Three, nine, seven, one. And then in a very similar way, if I write the units digit for powers of 7, 7 to the power of 1, 2, 3, and so on, I hope that there is a similar pattern that will help me. Again, let's just write the units digit. 7, 9, 3, 1, 7, 9, 3, 1. And there is a pattern. So there we go. Now, how do I get something divisible by 10? If the last digit is 0, so whatever this number is, some big number, if the last digit is 0, it will be divisible by 10. How do I get the last digit 0? Well, look at the combinations. I only have to look at these three, these numbers and these numbers because everything else is the same. Okay, well, if 3 to the power of m and 7 to the power of n are added, we want it to add up to 10. That will make that number have a 0 at the end and therefore it means it's divisible by 10. Well, I can have a 3 and a 7. So I can choose this guy and this guy. That would do it. I can have a 9 and a 1. These are the units digits only. A 7 and a 3 and a 1 and a 9. These possible combinations will do it. Okay, but we have a long list here. For both, we have a lot of choices, so we've got to figure out how many choices. I want the units digit to be a 3 in this first scenario. So that means the exponent will be either 1 or 5 or 9 if you in continue that um, pattern, 1 dot dot dot. And then I want the units digit of this to be 7, so that means the exponent of 7 would be uh, either 1 or 5 or 9 and so on, right? So 
one, five, or nine, and so on. And any of those would satisfy the fact that three plus seven is 10, and that would make it divisible. But I have to figure out how many are there. Well, and M is going from one to 100. So how many of these numbers are between one and 100 inclusive? Well, you can count or you can use whatever system you want. The way I usually do it is I just take the last number and divide uh, by what's going on here and that it's going up by four every time. So they're basically, uh, you have to see how many times do we get this uh, multiple of four. But you're adding one, so it's a little bit complicated. Not extremely, but you just have to think of it that way. So what you can do is you can just add something to make it a multiple of four. I just have to add three to one to make it a multiple of, of four. If I add three to one, it becomes four, which is a multiple of four. So I'm just going to add three to 103. So 103 and then divide by 4, and that gives me 25.75. So that means there's 25 numbers in here that are in this pattern. And you do the same sort of story, but this time n is a little bit different. n is between 101 and 205. So we have to figure out the same story for 205. So add 3, so 208 divided by 4. And that would give me exactly 52. But remember, I'm starting at 101. So all the ones up until 100 that I got here, I've got to subtract. So it's actually 27. It's 52 minus 25. So there we go. And then, of course, I'd have to multiply these to get the total combinations, which in this case would be 675. All right, so let's do the next one. For m to be 9, uh, that means the exponent is 9, sorry, the unit's digit is 9. The exponent can be either 2 or 6 or 10 and so on, right? So 2, 6, 10, dot, dot, dot. And then similarly, if we want the unit's digit to be 1 for a power of 7, that means we want the exponent to be either 4 or 8 or 12 and so on. Four, eight, twelve, dot, dot, dot. And now the same story. We have to now figure out how many of these are there. And by the same sort of principle, if you do all this, you get 25. And here you get 26. Same story here. It would be either 3 or 7 or 11, dot, dot, dot. And then here you'd have either the exponent would be 3 or 7 or 11, dot, dot, dot. And here, this is 25, and here it's 26. Keeping in mind that my m is between 1 and 100, and my n is between 101 and 205. And the last one, we want the unit's digit of 3 to the power of m to be 1. So that means the exponent has to be either 4 or 8 or 12 and so on. So 4, 8, 12, dot, 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 any one of those. And we want the unit's digit to be 9 for any power of 7. So that's going to be either 2 or 6 or 10 and so on. So now we have to figure out how many of these are there between 1 and 100. And that's simple now because you just divide by 4. So that's going to be 25. And then this one, you will add 2 and then divide by 4. So it will be 207 divided by 4. And then I've got to subtract the fact that it's only going up from 101. So the first 100, add 2 to that and divide by 4. And we're only interested in the integer values, so it's 51 minus 25, which is 26. And just like before, we have to multiply these guys. 25 times 26 is 650. This also gives me 650. And this also gives me 650. So in total, 675 plus 650 plus 650 plus 650, and that total is 2625. Therefore, number 20, the answer is E.